Have you ever stopped to think about how your computer can move these massive files in just the blink of an eye? Or how a graphics card can render entire beautiful worlds in real time? Well, it's not magic. It's actually a super high-speed conversation that's happening deep inside your machine. It's a secret language of electricity. And today, we're going to decode it. So let's start with a number. 64 billion. That's how many data transfers, we're talking ones and zeros, can happen every single second over a modern PCIe Gen 6 link. To give you some perspective, that's enough data to download like a dozen high-def movies in one second. It's just a mind-boggling feat of engineering happening inside a tiny little copper wire. But that incredible speed, it creates an equally incredible challenge. I mean, when you're trying to send a signal that fast, switching a voltage 64 billion times a second, how on earth do you make sure the message at the other end is still readable? How do you stop it from just turning into a bunch of random, useless noise? And that gets us right to the heart of the high-speed signal problem. You see, the faster you try to send data, the more the physical world kind of pushes back. Those copper wires that are carrying our information, they stop acting like perfect pipes and start acting more like obstacles. To really get this, imagine you're shouting a message down a really long concrete hallway. The sound waves, your signal, they bounce off the walls. They create echoes. By the time your voice gets to the person at the other end, the words are all blurred and jumbled together. Well, the exact same thing happens to our electrical signals. A perfect, clean pulse at the start gets totally distorted and stretched out by its journey. Now, this distortion, it has a technical name. Intersymbol Interference, or ISI. And this is the key. It's when the echo of a previous bit bleeds into the current bit, which just corrupts the data. It's like the end of one word blurring into the start of the next one. The channel itself, the wire, the connectors, the circuit board, that's what's creating the problem. And you can see just how much worse this problem has gotten over time. Back in 2003 with PCIe Gen 1, we were sending signals at 2.5 gigatransfers per second. I mean, that was challenging, but it was manageable. Now, fast forward to today, and we're at 64 GT per second. That's a more than 25-fold increase in speed, which means the problem of ISI isn't just 25 times harder, it's exponentially harder to solve. So, if the channel is the villain in this story, who's the hero? Well, the solution is a process called equalization. This is the really sophisticated set of techniques that devices use to actively fight back against all that noise and distortion to make sure the message gets through clean. So equalization works by basically conditioning the signal to make up for the channel's flaws. The key thing to get here is that it's not about improving the physical wire itself, it's about making the signal smarter. It's this active, intelligent process that anticipates and corrects for the distortion the signal's about to run into. And this isn't just one device doing all the heavy lifting. Nope. It's a cooperative effort, a two-way conversation. You've got the transmitter, or TX, which sends the signal and actually preps it for the tough journey ahead. And then you have the receiver, or RX, which works to clean up and reconstruct whatever got messed up along the way. Let's look at the transmitter side of this conversation first. Its job essentially is to pre-distort the signal in the opposite way that the channel is going to distort it. You can think of it like it's trying to counteract the noise before it even happens. So the transmitter uses two main tricks to fight this distortion. The first is called de-emphasis. When it's sending a long string of the same bits, like a bunch of ones, it actually reduces the voltage after the first one. This helps stop low frequency distortion. The second trick is pre-emphasis. This is when the signal changes, say from a zero to a one, and it gives that first new bit an extra little boost of voltage. This helps it punch through all the noise in the channel. So, 
if we go back to our hallway analogy, this is like the speaker deciding to shout the first letter of every new word, but then say the rest of the word a bit more softly. That over-enunciation helps the start of each word cut through the lingering echo of the last one, making it way easier for the listener to tell them apart. All right, now let's flip over to the other side of the link, the receiver. It's just gotten a signal that's been prepped by the transmitter, sure, but it's still been battered and bruised by its journey. So its job is to perform a kind of digital forensics to piece the original message back together. Now the receiver has a pretty powerful toolkit to clean up the signal. First, it uses a filter. The technical term is a CTLE, to boost the high frequency parts of the signal that got weakened during travel. Then it uses this really clever feedback loop called a DFE that actually learns from the bits it's already decoded. It uses that information to subtract the echo from the incoming signal. It gets smarter as it goes. The goal of all this is to reconstruct a clean, perfect digital signal from the messy analog one it received. In our analogy, this is the listener's half of the job. They are actively helping to clarify the message. You know, they might be cupping their ear to focus the sound or using their brain to just filter out that background echo. They aren't just passively hearing, they are actively listening and interpreting to reconstruct the speaker's original words. So we have a smart speaker and a smart listener, but how do they know exactly how much to over-enunciate or exactly how to filter the sound? I mean, every single link is different. This is where the perfect handshake comes in. Devices don't just use a one-size-fits-all setting. They dynamically negotiate the absolute best equalization settings for their specific connection. And this whole negotiation, it follows a really strict set of rules that are built right into the PCI protocol. When a device is first plugged in, it enters this link training phase. During this time, the two devices send test patterns back and forth. They're basically talking to each other to figure out the best settings for a clear conversation. This happens in a state called recovery equalization. This handshake happens in four distinct phases. Phase zero is just about making a basic connection. In phase one, both devices check the quality of that connection. If it's not crystal clear, they move to phase two. Now this is where the receiver actively tells the transmitter how to adjust its settings. Kind of like saying, hey, speak up a bit or enunciate more clearly. And finally, if they need to, they enter phase three for some final tiny adjustments. This whole thing makes sure they find the absolute best settings for that specific physical connection. Honestly, you can just think of this whole process as a super fast automated version of that old cell phone commercial. Can you hear me now? How about now? Now, this test just gets repeated with tiny adjustments over and over and over again until the answer from both sides is a definite, yep, the message is perfectly clear. And this really brings us to the whole point of why all this matters so much. Equalization is truly the unsung hero of modern computing speed. Without this constant, invisible conversation, the data rates we all rely on would just be physically impossible. And what's just amazing is that this complex, multi-phase negotiation, this entire can-you-hear-me-now handshake, it happens automatically in a tiny fraction of a second. Every time you turn on your computer, every time you plug in a new device, this lightning-fast process establishes the perfect, stable, high-speed connection. So, let's just do a quick recap. The faster you go, the more signal distortion, or ISI, you get. Equalization is the two-part solution to fix that. The transmitter preps the signal, and the receiver repairs it. The transmitter uses pre-emphasis and de-emphasis, while the receiver uses advanced filters to piece it all back together. And maybe most importantly, all of this is automatically tuned through a super-fast, multi-phase handshake. This unseen, lightning-fast negotiation is what enables, well, everything.
It's what makes your NVMe SSD transfer files in an instant. It's what allows your GPU to power high-end gaming and really complex AI calculations. It is the fundamental process that underpins the speed of our entire modern digital world. This technology is what lets us keep pushing the boundaries. But it also raises a pretty fascinating question for the future. You know, as we inevitably push towards even higher speeds, 100 giga transfers per second and beyond, the physics is only going to get harder. So what new, even more sophisticated conversations will our computers need to learn to speak?